I'm back at Downtown Disney to stroll around and see what's new this week. So how about you and I dive right in? Inside the old ESPN building, they were doing a shopping event. I've heard it was a lot of pins. Don't know if they're still doing that, but you had to sign up and make a reservation for it. But that's pretty much what they've been utilizing the space for. I wonder if they'll do something again in the future, because uh, the space just kind of sits empty here, waiting for the next thing. They still have all the old uh, marketing and graphics out here from the pop-up shop that was here for quite some time. So I wonder if they'll do something like that again. I think it was pretty popular when they offered it. They could totally do something similar. Then again, that's one more thing that they have to staff, so they might want to save some money and leave this space vacant for a little bit. Another thing that's been sitting vacant is the Downtown Disney stage, so I wonder if they're going to have some live entertainment soon. I feel like they totally could, but I guess we'll just continue to watch and wait and see what they do, because Downtown Disney continues to be relatively busy, especially on the weekends. I do hope they keep all of these 65th anniversary graphics, because I think they're super cool. I love like the old school vibes that they have. Hopefully next year they'll keep this and we'll have a little bit of a better anniversary date. Disney Home's been pretty popular lately. They do have all the Halloween decorations in there. So if you don't want to wait in line for World of Disney, this might be a shorter wait to get some of the Halloween merch for your house. And I think they have a few other things. So don't forget the Disney Home Store. It's right next to uh, Black Tap. I wish Napolini was open, it's one of my favorite to go pizza places, you get a personalized pizza. It's the same company as Naples over here, so if you love this particular restaurant, which I do, it's one of my favorite places at Downtown Disney. This is a great alternative, especially when the parks are open. If you want something quick, it's relatively cheap. Boom, right there. Have any of you guys stayed at the uh, Grand Californian and had a balcony view of Downtown Disney? Comment down below if you have. I'd love to know how your stay was. I've jumped in line for World of Disney. I'm not really counting on it though because today is Saturday and it is very busy. And I know the line's at least gonna be over an hour just to get in, so. But I just got a reservation anyway, just in case. And if we do go in, we'll see what's new. I think they have a couple new Halloween, de uh, uh, not decorations, a couple new Halloween uh, merch items available, so. If we get in, we'll definitely check it out. Did you know that there's a hidden Mickey in the fountain tile work? It's in there. You know, I've never wanted to ride the parking lot tram more in my life. Wouldn't that be just an amazing, yeah, let's just do the parking tram. Just a good way to start off the day. But unfortunately not right now. And when the day comes where we can enjoy the parking lot tram, I'm gonna enjoy every minute of it. Still trips me out to see not too many people walking through the Esplanade. Still can't get used to that. Well, here she is. Still closed up. Recently, California just released some new guidance as far as uh, the, you know, the ongoing opening procedures for different businesses. But there's still no opening, you know, guidance for the theme parks here in Southern California. Unfortunately, the governor hasn't released any of that information as of yet. Hopefully that changes soon because according to Disney and other theme parks in Southern California, these guys are ready to go. They've been rocking and rolling, gearing up since July and they are, they're ready. I do firmly believe that Disney can open uh, safely and with all of the protocols that they have been, uh, you know, implementing in Florida and all of the different procedures and safety procedures at those parks, I, I don't see uh, Disneyland doing anything different, if not uh, doing probably more. You know, you never know. And I, I firmly believe that Disney can provide a safe and clean environment for everybody, uh, just because they've done so around the world and in Florida. So I just don't, uh, don't see how it would be any different here. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully it opens up soon. I'm not really sure when they want to open, but maybe sometime in the next couple months, we might see some movement. If I was to make an educated guess, I would say later on in the fall, not early in the winter. I do think that the parks will open sometime this year. I don't think they're gonna wait until January or February of next year. That's still quite a ways away if you really think about it. So I think we're gonna see these gates swing open with a grand opening sometime this year. I just, I, at least I hope so. You can see on the fence there that they do have uh, plexiglass. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but they do have all that ready to go. And I'm sure throughout the park, 
they're preparing for something, even if they do get the green light. You also have to remember when they do get the green light, it's gonna be at least a couple weeks because they have to hire everybody back, retrain them on their attractions, their food areas. You know, they gotta train everything. So that's gonna be a little bit of a process. So whatever the announcement's gonna be, at least from the, uh, from the government, that's gonna be at least two and a half, three weeks. And then that will be when eventually Disneyland and California Adventure will, will reopen. Now, speaking of California Adventure, rumor on the street is that California Adventure won't open when Disneyland gets the green light. It'll just be Disneyland at first, and then California Adventure at a later date. Now, I'm wondering if, uh, how, you know, how long term that's gonna be. I think that they should open up California Adventure at the same time, just because the annual pass demographic is a lot different here. We have almost 2 million annual pass holders, at least last time I heard. And if you open up the other park, I think that would alleviate the crowds between just the one. Uh, so I, I think it might be just a, a wiser decision. But then again, it might come down to uh, payroll. It might be coming down to uh, operational cost. It might be cheaper for them to just keep Disneyland open, make some money, and then later on down the road, open up California Adventure. Alrighty, I made it in line for World of Disney. It wasn't too bad. Look at all the scary stuff at the outside here. Creepy. This one says Donald's Creepy and Quacky Halloween Candy Company. Terrific and tasty kooky confections. I love this stuff. This is so cool. Maybe the displays are getting more elaborate. This one's even scarier. Look at the candy corn castle. Ooh, look at this one. This one just says boo. All the candy in the background. Ugh. So amazing. This one's pretty cute. The Mickey and Minnie with the happy little cauldron there. And this is the final window display. We have a lot of pumpkins here. We have the candy bags. With that old school poster down there. Oh, Darth Vader right there in the corner. Watch out. Alrighty, we made it. Okay, right off the bat before we get to the Halloween stuff, I do not remember these t-shirts. These look brand new. We got a Simba one over here. We have the Millennium Falcon over here, Mickey Mouse. These are pretty cool, not gonna lie. This one's $29.99, this one's $36.99. And what about this one? This one is $59.99. It's a little bit more expensive, probably because it's a polo. We look at this one, the Stormtrooper, pew pew, pew pew pew. This one is $36.99, that's pretty cool. We have some teacups right here for $36.99. And we can't forget about Tigger. I really like this one. This one's pretty cute. This one is $36.99. Okay, I was told there's a few new things in here. Like I said before a million times, always check up in here because they just keep bringing out new Halloween stuff. And it's fantastic. Ooh, look at these. You got a little Doom buggy right here. These are $24.99. I really like those. Those are cool. And look, we even have some tombstones. These are nice and creative. I haven't seen these. I haven't really seen Disney do a tombstone before. Love that. We also have another stocking. So you get the Oogie Boogie stocking and then you get the Madame Leota stocking. Don't remember these picture frames. These are nice. Don't really know how much they are. They are a mystery. These are pretty cool ears. We got Oogie Boogie on one side and Jack on the other. And these are also a mystery. Doesn't sound the price, but I'm assuming that they're probably around like 20 or 30 bucks, like all the airs are. They're pretty much average in price. All right, so we have some new ears over here too. I love these. We got the candy corn witch hat on top, the purple inside. These are $29.99. So far, there's a lot of new ears coming in. Oh, well, look at that. More Crocs have shown up. These ones have all of the candy and sweets on them. These are, it's, I saw the price somewhere. Oh, $54.99. So you can get the Haunted Mansion Crocs and you can get your candy Crocs. We still don't have any Halloween face masks. I'm honestly surprised that we haven't seen any of them pop up. It's uh, just still the classic character face masks, which are still cool. But uh, yeah, I think they would get some Halloween ones in here. See, when you get your Crocs, you can also get the Lounge Fly candy bag so you can match. These are $75. You can just get the whole outfit. Ooh, we have some new emerald green ears. These have just popped in. These are $29.99 as well as like the other ones. So I think the candy, not the candy corn ones, but the other ones, the Jack Skellington ones, will probably be the same price, but got some green going on. Ooh, look at this. We have a pumpkin spice candle. That's really cool. I could actually smell them from here, so it's probably a really good candle. Not sure how much they are. Probably 20 bucks. I wouldn't be surprised. 
We also have some Hocus Pocus mugs here. We also have a Hocus Pocus Spear jersey. This is $69.99. If we move around the corner here, there's even more. Look at this, it's all the light up stuff. This is an orange tag, so I don't know how much the orange is, but tons of light up novelty toys. Wow. If you want some Mickey and Minnie plush, we got that as well. The Halloween decked out. $22.99 is the price of them. I don't remember this mug either. This is new. We've got Jack Skellington on it with the castle in the background. See what I'm talking about? You can have the bag and the shoes. And look, now you can have the apron. You're, you're all set. Ooh, these are cool. I really love these. of the bat uh, mouth going on there with the pumpkin. And you could just put like a really nice candle in there or some anything you want, really. It's, this is a nice, or you know, I can put some cookies in there even. Oh, look, the snake has popped up. You can get this little guy. Not sure on how he is. $26.99, as well as all of the other Nightmare Before Christmas plush you can get. They range in price too. Like uh, this is $19.99. The mare is uh, $19.99. And I think the wolf is a little bit more expensive. And Oogie Boogie is, oh, 20 bucks. So maybe they're all kind of the same price except for the snake. Well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day. I really hate leaving. I, I hate leaving. <laughs> it, 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 it bums me out, honestly. Cause I was here for so long before it closed and I'm just so obsessed with all these places. It, it means more to me than just you know, coming here and going on rides or filming YouTube videos. It's, it's more than that. So I'm hoping that the parks open soon and I hope people can get back to work safely. And, you know, it's, it's hard and I'm, I'm crossing my fingers for everybody. Shout out to the cast members that are here though, helping out, doing what they can, providing a great experience. So I tip my hat to you, but yeah. I'm, I'm hoping that when we get back from Florida, just in a couple uh, weeks here, that things might, might change a little bit. This will be the last Downtown Disney video until we come back from Florida, so be on the lookout for the Florida videos. Remember to hit those notification bells. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel and you love theme park content, be sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. So tape today on every time I post new videos. It's always a great time here at Downtown Disney. If you get a chance, definitely come out, have some fun, enjoy the, out, the outdoor area for a little bit, get out of the house, and uh, enjoy a little taste of Disneyland until the park eventually opens up. But other than that, I hope you have a beautiful day, and I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.